Till Death Do Us Part, originally titled Umbra, is the 168th episode of the television series Star Trek Deep Space Nine. It is the second of the series' final ten episode arc. Topic <laughs> Plot. Kai Wynn visits DS9 and tells the emissary that she will officiate his marriage to Yates, and not the Vedek that Sisko chose. After leaving Siskar's office, Wynn has what she thinks is her first vision from the Prophets ever. They say that, "...the Sisko has faltered", that the Prophets have chosen her for, "...a great task", and that she will be aided by a guide who has, "...the wisdom of the land." Dax and Worf continue arguing even after being separately interrogated by the Breen. Worf's jealousy of Julian Bashir is confirmed when Esri drowsily declares her love for him. Dukat arrives at DS9 and visits Kai Wynn, posing as Anjol Tenon, a Bajoran farmer whose life was spared during the occupation by Wynn's intervention. Wynn believes then that this is the man the Prophet sent to be her guide, someone who has the wisdom of the land. Wynn and Anjol quickly become very close, to the disapproval of Solbor, one of Wynn's aides. Cassidy is angry when Benjamin tells her what the Prophet said of their engagement to be married. Despite a discussion with Kira Neris and another vision from the Prophets reaffirming their warning, Benjamin marries Cassidy in a last-minute ceremony officiated by Admiral Ross. Wayne orders Dammer to go on a trip aboard a Jemahadar ship with him but doesn't tell him where. Arriving at the rendezvous point, some Breen soldiers beam in along with Dax and Worf. Wayan announces that the Breen have allied themselves with the Dominion. <laughs> <laughs> External links Till Death Do Us Part — on IMDb Till Death Do Us Part — at tv.com Till Death Do Us Part at Memory Alpha a Star Trek wiki Till Death Do Us Part at Star Trek com